in every life, a little rain must fall. And this is our rain today. We're gonna take apart a dead hive, all right? Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Today we're gonna to talk about what happens when springtime comes and no one comes out of the hive. If you see here, that looks like mud. That's actually bee diarrhea. And a lot of that on the outside of a hive is not a good sign. It's called nosema, and it can be treated with fumigone. So this is our regular outer cover. And then this is a insulated inner cover I use every year. I've had good success with these. And this is our emergency sugar, or backup sugar supply. But then if you see here, this is not a good sign when you open up a hive and you see them all clustered here and not moving. Um, we'll take apart the hive and take a look, but as you can see, this is not enough of a population for a hive to survive, and they're, they're together trying to stay warm, and they're also eating into our backup sugar supply, which uh, I think is perfectly fine that they eat the sugar. You can see they've been eating it here. Sometimes they'll just disregard the sugar syrup and honey in the frames and they'll come up and eat this. But when you have them all clustered together like this, this is a sign that they had a lot of bee deaths in the winter, and this is basically the population that's left, which is not big enough to sustain a hive. You'll also notice here these brown spots. That is bee diarrhea, also called nosema. Uh, so it shows that the hive was having some issues with their health. So this hive was fully insulated throughout the winter. Um, it had emergency sugar on top plus an insulated cover. So there's no signs of moisture condensation creating essentially rain and mold in the hive. It has a screened bottom board which is closed and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a mouse guard covering up the front entrance. So just big enough for the bees to get out, but not enough for the mouse to get in. The upper entrance here, you can also see more signs of the bee diarrhea. That's not a good thing. So you just gotta start cleaning it up. Normally on a hive coming out of winter, I would save this sugar uh, and melt it down to make sugar syrup, but because it has that nosema and it's from a dead hive, I'm not gonna do that. This is a sugar patty that I put in in the fall as well. I like those. I know you might be able to hear the peepers, the frogs are out. They're called spring peepers here. That's a sign of spring. Before I pull these frames out, it might be hard to see, but there are bees in here. They're trying to form a cluster. I'll pull the frame out and we'll see. So I'm gonna pull the rest of these out. Um, I did a still photo. This is all brood. And there's some, this is capped brood. And then there's some young babies, uh, young. And then there's some young bees that are trying to come out of here. I'll do a close up of this. So they were starting to lay eggs. And I think what might've happened is we had a cold snap and the nurse bees struggle to keep the brood warm. And there might not have been enough bees to keep the brood warm and the queen. And there just wasn't enough bees in the hive to sustain this many eggs that they had laid. And then it got cold again. And it kind of, they were too thinly laid out covering the brood. And then they died. You can reuse all this comb to get these bees out of here and the ones that are head first into here. You just take it and turn it upside down. And you go like that. Most of them will come out. And if you put new bees in this hive, which I think is okay, um, they will clean all this out before laying their own eggs or storing food in here. So dead bees on the top. Uh, some uncured sugar water or honey here some cured stuff here. Clearly there's food in the hive. I don't think they could get to it. I love hearing those peepers. This hive started out two years ago as a nuke. Um, and these are my original frames from there. This is the bottom box. This will probably be empty because bees move up through the hive through the winter. To me, this is pointing toward uh, brood laying too early. But again, I'm just an amateur. So if you guys are experts or amateurs, I'd like to hear from you. 
in the comments below because I learned I learned from you a lot. So I just want to show you what we're doing here. Yeah, and those are empty. This is just the white sugar fruit that I dropped in when I was opening the hive. But that is empty. Again, more sugar. So underneath the bottom medium, I put a spacer, I can't remember what it's called, but it has slats in it. It's supposed to help with swarming and overcrowding. And that comes off like that. So this is typical what you would see at the end of winter, some dead bees down here, which you can just, you can just pull them off. Again, this white powder is the dry sugar, but these slats are supposed to allow some more space for the bees to hang out. So I use them. And then we have our screened bottom board. This is not super unusual for a hive at the end of the winter, but a robust hive would be pulling these bees out of here and getting them out of the hive through the mouse guard here. And you can see I always use screen bottom boards and it is closed right now. You can see this is the, this is the cover I slide on for the winter here. Otherwise, in the summer there's air going through here and the mites can fall through this and die, which is a nice thing. I'm not sure why people don't use screen bottom boards, but maybe in the show notes and the comment section you can let me know if you do and there's a reason for that. So this is what you want a hive to look at. Um, if you look closely they're bringing in different kinds of pollen, early tree flowering pollen. I have some more beekeeping videos you want to watch. There should be some squares to click on here to look at that. And also I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts and questions because I learn as much from you as you do from me. I think I learn more from you actually. Again, I'm just an amateur making some videos about my life. So beekeeping, cooking, gardening, stuff in the yard, I'm trying to learn welding right now. All right, make it a great day. Love to hear from you.